this video is a tribute to a dog who sadly passed away on the 3rd of January 2012. One of the most magnificent dogs I've ever had the pleasure of meeting and I simply can't let his passing go without saying something about him. His name is Hudson and that's not him. He's actually lying down in the top right hand corner of the screen. There he is. If we freeze it now as you can see, he is a magnificent looking dog. I've just frozen it here because this is probably the best photo I've got of him. Um, he's a, he, he passed away when he was about uh, 10 years old. He was, I believe, he was a Malamute cross German Shepherd dog. And I just want to talk a little bit about how magnificent he was, a couple of things he'd do. You see the, um, the picket fence there, the wooden fence, that or the gate there. That is the gate he would come through. And boy, when he came through, you knew about it. He always put my five golden rules in place. The one which was obvious was when he walked in, you couldn't get near him. Nobody could touch him. If any of the dogs tried to jump on his back, he would turn and grrr, get off me, get out of my space. His head was always down when he came through. He wasn't looking for a fight, but he would pretty much clearly tell anyone, I'm coming through, he'd grizzle and growl, and he'd say to everybody, get out of my way. Don't think of invading my space. He taught me so much. Anybody who tries to say there is no pack hierarchy clearly has never met Hudson because right till his end, nobody was ever above him or no dog, I should say, because he always respected me so much. He was like my two IC, my wingman. He would watch out for me in this pack the whole time. And if I ever had to go and sort another dog out by taking them by the collar, putting them in time out something, Hudson would get up from that lying position and he would be there in a flash saying, you want to help buddy? I'm there for you. But he never looked for a fight. As you can see, there he is, all the mayhem going on and he would calmly lie there. He knew I was in charge. I was the pack leader. And uh, as long as I was there, he didn't need to do anything. He was absolutely fantastic. Another incident that I loved with Hudson was uh, where he <laughs> confirmed to me how the pack leaders are not aggressive. We were introducing a fearful, aggressive dog named Baxter, a male dog, um, into the pack. And so I'd picked him to work with my two girls and they were all together. Hudson was there and he went up to this dog, put his head over the back of Baxter and Baxter growled at him. And I thought, oh gosh, what's he going to do now? But Hudson, true to form, he showed me exactly what to do. He just backed off, walked away. And a little bit later, Baxter actually went up and sniffed Hudson's butt and I thought oh my goodness so Hudson's almost being a bit submissive is he and does that mean Baxter's going to be in charge because he's growled it doesn't make sense but we'll see how it goes and then right as rain a little bit later 10 minutes later Baxter in the same place same uh, dogs were around my two and Hudson and it was exactly the same area in the in the um in the in the enclosure Hudson went up to Baxter and just again put his head over him and held it there exactly as he had done before and this time, because Baxter was more confident and knew Hudson wasn't threatening him, he accepted it. Hudson had done it again. He said, listen, buddy, I'm not aggressive, but I am in charge. Hudson, you are a legend. You taught me so much. I thank you so much. And I will never forget you.